Yeah, Alex is a great guy. I've been his imaginary friend for half his life. I know him better than anybody. And, you know, I've never really worried about him. He has always been pretty level-headed, basically normal. But I've got to admit, now that he's started living alone, things have gotten weird. As far as I know, Alex has no specific medical conditions. He's just really lonely, and as a result has created imaginary friends. Me? Lonely? <laughs> Why would I be lonely? <sighs> Alex? <laughs> He's f***ing crazy. Oh, yeah! When I wake up, I, I go through my morning routine, you know, a shower. <laughs> I brush my teeth. I eat my breakfast. And after that, I pretty much just go about my day. On a day-to-day -day basis, Alex does... Well... Uh... Uh... uh I do a lot of stuff. I hunt. I read. I watch movies. Alex created me very recently, about two weeks ago to calm him down when he thought he was getting sick. After that, I've spent my time observing him, and I can confidently say that if he does not have human contact soon, he will go completely insane. Uh. I don't know, man. I, I guess it's cool being Alex's imaginary friend. Wait. Imaginary? Whoa. Being Alex's imaginary friend is the best thing anyone could hope to do. It's great. I get to spend every day of my life with him, and I help him through things. I make sure he never stays too sad, you know, keep him company throughout the day. It's great. It's, it's wonderful. I, Alex is my best friend, and I love him, even if he is a bit weird. <laughs>